if you look at the mindset of highly successful people <clears throat> they are very goal oriented they have a specific task in their mind specific goal in their mind and they have a very strong desire to achieve that goal into that specific time frame and that's why they struggle into the spiritual line into the line of meditation because if you see the highest stage of meditation that is completely free from desire so in materialistic side there's a very huge desire to complete the task complete achieve the goals into certain time frame but in spiritual side the highest stage is completely free from desire and that's why the highly successful people in the materialistic world actually struggles because they have to completely switch or change their mindset and that is why many people you know even in ancient past they become monk so they renounce those desires in the materialistic side then actually it become easier to achieve towards the nibbana or nirvana or enlightenment side however it does not means that uh if you are very highly materialistic or if you are very high achiever you should not practice meditation i will say not a single step walk on the path of meditation will go waste so every time basically when you will meditate uh, correctly you will feel lot of peace a uh, lot of happiness actually if you are doing it correctly if you have any query please write it in the uh, comment sections i'll be happy to reply